Hello and welcome to Bias Exam Prep IAS. As part of a daily quiz today, we'll be discussing five to six important questions which were in the news itself. Before we start, as always, two very important announcements. You have PTS which is going on every Sunday, so do become a part of that. Over and above that, we also have the Google form in the link and the description box has the link for the Google form. And this Google form gives you access to one-to-one -one consultation if there is any grievance or any issue which you have or generally in your preparation it could constructively contribute. So do engage with the Google form and I hope that you're giving the first, first three tests are free in the PTS. So I hope you're becoming a part of that and checking your preparation and mocks are always important. With this, let's look at the questions. The first question comes with India, Myanmar and border issues. India and Myanmar shared an unfenced border, share an unfenced border and people living in these areas can cross the border without visa. The free movement regime along the Myanmar border was introduced in 2015 as a sign of friendship between the two countries. Which of the statements is are correct? Now here, both statements seem to be correct because this supports this first statement. Yes, India and Myanmar, tribal people and the people residents living around the border itself can cross the border without any visa. And this is correct as of right now. However, this is incorrect because it was not introduced in 2015. It's a very old system, 1970s it was there. And the government is contemplating taking away this system. And that is the context of the whole article itself. Free movement regime at Myanmar most probably is going to change because, because we will have uh, the 1970s model removed and now people may need visas and there's a fencing or fencing is going to happen on this border and therefore this 300 kilometer border is going to be fenced and people will need visa. So this free movement regime may be gone. Thereafter, a simple example of a question which seems to be easy right now but is very difficult in the examination. The military exercise called Desert Cyclone is organized by India, Saudi Arabia, India, 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 UAE, Qatar, Iran or Saudi Arabia. Here you either know the answer or you don't know the answer. Here the answer is UAE and the context is that this is just recently commenced in Rajasthan. So very, very important for your preparation generally to know military exercises. Thereafter, the third question, Square Kilometer Array Observatory is the world's largest radio telescope project. India has recently become a part of it via the National Center for Radio Astrophysics. Here the answer is both are totally correct. This was in the Indian Express and India has now become a very very important partner in this project itself and therefore the SKAO is not just one telescope but thousands of antennas and telescopes together and, and the National Center for Radio Astrophysics has become a part of this project. We are already a part of the LIGO mission and this is a new feather in the cap for our own observatories and exploratories, exploratory practices and endeavors. With this, the fourth question, very interesting one. The domestic air passengers traffic has still not recovered from the pandemic and remains under the pre-pandemic high. Meaning that whatever was the pre-pandemic high when it comes to air travel and air passenger traffic, we are under it. And India is the largest aviation market in the world. Which of the statements is are correct? And here, both the statements are incorrect. Yes, this is the news itself that we have crossed over a record high in 2023 overtaking the pre-pandemic high itself but India is not the largest aviation market. India is the third largest aviation market and the fastest growing aviation market in the world itself. So here the answer is D. With this let's look at the previous year question which is a very simple one very straightforward one. Which one of the following acts was was the one through which the Governor General of Bengal was designated as designated as Governor General of India. And the answer is very straightforward, Charter Act of 1833, one of the easiest questions which UPSC asked this year, which is quite easy in that sense. And I hope you will be able to do these type of questions. With this, let's talk about the fact of the day, which is a very interesting one, which is what are called volcano tourists or lava chasers. With volcanoes erupting in Indonesia and recently in Iceland, this is a new word which has emerged with people traveling throughout Europe to Iceland to witness the way volcanoes are actually erupting. This is a new word which you can see in the examination also and important generally for your preparation. With this, I would like to end the session. As always, remember there's a Google form in the description box for any form of any form of 
counseling when it comes to one to one and second i hope that you've been part of the pts two rounds have already happened the third test is coming this sunday and you will give it thank you so much take care bye bye